y'all welcome back to my youtube y'all and today i'm gonna be doing you know what i'm saying an anime story y'all this anime story is called ding dong ditch uh i think it's horror stories like that so make sure i give me thumbs up so me all the good stuff you know what i'm saying i did do this video no i did do this uh i did react to this video like on my main channel but I'm bring it back, you know what I'm saying? Cause why not? So make sure y'all give me thumbs up, subs, me all the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? I am gonna be doing a lot of animal stuff I've done before, so it's like easier, you know. Cause I don't really know no new ones, but if I do find some new ones, I will do those. But make sure y'all give me thumbs up, subs, me all the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? I thank y'all for giving me back 70 subs, y'all. I love how y'all been liking my videos lately. Y'all definitely gonna love the vlogmas videos I got for y'all, you know what I'm saying? So yeah give me a thumbs up subs me all the good stuff y'all to get into the reaction comment down below and let me know i'm saying i have this anime story and also y'all i do have a playlist it's called anime stories on my uh channel so you can check out the playlist on my other ones i did you definitely can and yeah we'll get into it and i'll see y'all it gives me the chills to think about an incident that happened when i was 13. i still remember it even to this day so here's the story one day at school, my friends decided to play Ding Dong Ditch. Well, let's call them Anthony, Ed, David, and Josh. So once we planned everything, we went out around 6 p.m. and started deciding which house we should do. There was this one house that was creepy looking, and I heard rumors that a crazy man was living at that place. So being dumb kids, we decided to see if the rumors were true. Being the fastest one, I had to knock first. So I did around three times and ran. Then I hid behind a bush where Ed was hiding. I jumped when the door swung open and a crazed man looked out the door. I realized that this man wasn't normal. He was screaming and saying, I'm gonna kill you, then slammed the door. We were a little terrified, but we decided it was Anthony's turn to knock. I told him to walk slowly, then run to us when he's done. So Anthony knocked, then ran to where we were hiding. A few seconds later, the guy opened the door with something that gave me the chills. A knife and a metal baseball bat. Ed said, run! The guy heard Ed and started chasing us at a terrifying speed. We hid behind a neighbor's house. We stayed there until we felt like he was gone. But this part is something that I can call paralyzation. The guy was right there, but instead of a knife, the man was holding Ed. We screamed, then ran to our houses. My mind was racing. Was Ed going to be okay? I called David and Josh, and I asked them if they were home yet. And they said yes. Then they asked me, where was Ed? I told them what happened to Ed, and they were in shock. I wish the story ended here. But it doesn't. That day I was getting ready for bed, thinking about what had just happened. While I was laying in bed, there was a thunderstorm. Then, after a few flashes, there was a shadowy figure appearing after each flash of lightning. I turned to look, and there he was, looking at me. And he gave me a bone-chilling grin. To this day, I still haven't told anybody about this incident. Ed went missing. And he's still missing to this day. <laughs> 